You find us in Plymouth, which is currently being battered by the tail end of Hurricane Gonzalo, and that has provided us with perfect conditions to test the Princess 43. This boat in particular is of interest because it has the upgraded Cummins 6.7 litre 550 horsepower engines. And that means over 1,000 pounds feet of torque per side. And out in the sort of weather we were in yesterday with huge troughs, big following seas, that low down power comes in very handy indeed. This hasn't been an option for very long on this boat, these Cummins engines, but Princess say that the take up has been huge because people are loading the boat with more and more kit. You have a hydraulic bathing platform, a generator, a jet rib, air conditioning, then you get a bit of fouling on the hull or the props and that's when this real low down grunt mid-season towards the end of the season really helps you out and we found that yesterday. The way this boat took those big seas, really big troughs, five six foot wave at times, being able to pull yourself out of the trough with that low down grunt, you really do see the benefit in having these larger engines on board this boat. The actual driving environment down here on the 43 is absolutely superb. I really really like the driving position, the layout of the dash, the view out is very good and even the styling it's sort of typically somber uh, in a princess sort of way but very very classy and uh, it just fits like a glove, well for me anyway. Um, there is movement on this chair, the wheel is front and centre, bottles just under your arm where you want them and you have easy access to the trim tabs down here. Sliding window as well, which is great for ventilation, ventilation and also being able to talk with your crew. And the fact that it's manual means that obviously it's never going to break down. And the chart plotter is in a good position because the helmsman can still use it, interact with it, but then the navigator is right in front of it. Uh, you know, they're the person who's probably going to be using it most often. And they have a small chart table in front of them as well, which is always good to see. The other thing about the 43, and it's not a big surprise because we always seem to be saying this about Princess Flybridge boats, is the way it handles. Out there yesterday when we were going along in the slightly calmer stuff, it felt like a sports cruiser. The get up from the engines, the super light steering, the keen heel, heel in, the turn, it feels far sportier than it deserves to. And that may not be something you particularly care about for your Flybridge boat, but I have to say in a following sea, coming home from a long trip away on a Sunday night, to be, have this real fun, agile handling to be able to guide you through the, through the quest would, uh, would certainly make the journey that bit more interesting. The living spaces on this boat are really nicely proportioned and although it says 43 on the side, she is 46, 47 foot long in total. And although that clearly makes her feel like a bigger boat out at sea, it's also the amount of light in the saloon especially which makes her feel larger than she actually is. Now this boat is uh, specced in quite a traditional way. It's very sort of traditional princess cherry wood, cream leather, cream carpet, um, and probably not to my taste, I probably want something a bit more contemporary, but this is what this owner wanted, and that's what they've got. Opposite me here, usually you would have a sofa fitted, but this owner's gone for uh, sideboard storage with a television behind it. Um, makes the saloon slightly less sociable, but does give you a bit of extra storage, so there's a bit of a, a, bit of a payoff there. The galley is in a really good location actually, it may be down but just because of the, the openness of the saloon you never feel like you're out of the action at all, there's no big bulkhead in the way so you can still converse with the people who are sitting in the saloon. And it's the view out from here, these larger windows that Princes have put in over the old 42 do make a really big difference especially when you're sat down like this, you can see out, look over the water and it doesn't feel claustrophobic or closed in at all. No matter where you are in this saloon actually, even down in the galley, you've got a pretty good view out of the boat. One thing I probably would add, having been out in rough water yesterday, would be a handhold, probably in the ceiling, somewhere in the middle of the boat here, because up by the helm you have something to grab onto. Back here you can hold onto the sort of door handle of the door, but in the middle I felt myself grabbing for something to hold onto. Whether it comes onto the edge of the table or into the ceiling, as I said, I do think that they just need something there for people to latch onto when they're in the middle of the saloon. Up on the flybridge we see the same sort of ergonomic sense at the helm that we see down below. The central steering position is good, although some may be frustrated by the fact that the navigator has to squeeze past the helmsman to get in and out of their chair. As you can see this section is currently set up as sun pad, but that central scrub can be removed to turn it into just normal seating. Aft, where the old 42 used to have sunbathing space, the 43 has a large table and seating for six to eight people. And of course, the wet bar, which on this boat has been spec with the optional griddle. 